Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the recently released history menu in Microsoft Teams. Now, if you're a heavy Teams user, up until this point, you've probably been frustrated with the lack of functionality that allows you to quickly go back to different places in the Teams app that you've been in. Okay. Uh, now for my experience, uh, a lot of people didn't realize that you could actually use these two buttons at the top here, these navigation buttons to go forward or backward into the different places that you've been in, in the Microsoft Teams application. Uh, so it was handy feature, but not quite where it needed to be. Um, not until now, of course. So Microsoft listened to its users and implemented a history menu. Okay, now to access this history menu, all you need to do is hover your cursor over um, the back navigation button in the top left-hand corner of the screen, and you're going to see that this is going to display a list of recently accessed places in the Microsoft Teams app. Okay, now this list will show you channels that you've accessed, it will show you chats that you've been engaged in, it will even show you applications or files that you've accessed. You can see here I was recently in my maintenance department team general channel, okay? I was also in the wiki, I was engaged with some chats with my colleague Alex Wilbur, okay? You can see here that I was accessing the approvals app and my calendar app and I was also in my maintenance file. So the handy part of this History menu is that clicking into any of these different elements is going to allow you to go right back to that spot. So I'll go ahead and click on my calendar here and it's going to bring me right back into my calendar, okay? If I click into uh, my chat with my colleague here, it's going to automatically bring me back into that chat with the colleague. So it's a handy way for you to quickly revert back to the different places that you are interacting with in Microsoft Teams. Um, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. I just wanted to show people how to use this new feature as it's definitely going to improve the user experience as it pertains to navigating Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did like it, drop a comment below. Do you like this feature? Do you not like it? Could it have been better? Uh, drop a comment below. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.